hope that you're doing well. Um, today's a very exciting day because my Hobonichi order just got delivered. A um, couple of things before I actually open this. I wanted to mention I ordered from Sila Sila, which is an Italian shop. Um, it's where I've always gotten my Hobonichi and Travelers Company things, uh, just because I'm also based in Italy and they have a really um, like inexpensive and fast domestic shipping so it's just kind of always been the best option for me. I never considered ordering direct from Hobonichi uh, and I actually just out of curiosity tried uh, to, to like put everything in my cart from the Hobonichi website yesterday night to see whether it would have been less expensive for me to get it direct from Hobonichi uh, and turns out uh, it would have actually been 20 euros more expensive for me to order direct uh, mostly because of the shipping. The shipping is like 34 euros I think and I didn't order anywhere near enough to get free shipping um, so this was just way more convenient for me and also this way I was able to get both everything I wanted from Hobonichi but also get a couple of Travelers Company things that I would have uh, ordered anyways from them. Um, so everything worked out for the best. I also didn't have to wake up at 3 in the morning to order from Japan so that was another, another perk. Um, packaging is always really really nice as well. I am very excited to open everything. So the, these are the couple of Travelers Company things that I got. Um, I wanted a new clear zipper pouch uh, because I have one in in my setup but it's quite old it's like three or four years old why can I not find it <laughs> it's like three or four years old and it's quite dirty and it started to rip at the front uh, in a couple of places and before it like falls apart on me I thought I'm just gonna get a new one um, and I also wanted to get one of the archive folders because I have a whole bunch of um, notebooks to archive from this year I have if I can get them I have like five already from this year these are the, the completed ones um, I have so far and then I have two more ongoing in my setup so I, I wanted to get one just to test it out because I haven't uh, used these before and I thought while I place my order I might as well get one of these so I'll be doing that later this week but getting on with the really exciting Hobonichi things this is gonna be quite a, a small haul I didn't really get a lot um, but I got a new weeks um, so I'm currently in a weeks for 2023 um, and this was actually my first year ordering on launch day. Um, so basically 2023 was my first year in a Hobonichi in general. Um, I started using Hobonichi Weeks I think towards the end of June and so because of that I didn't order on launch day. Um, and I'm having a really really good time with that and I wanted to keep using a Weeks for planning. So I use the Weeks for everyday planning. Um, and I am very very excited to have gotten a new one. I was a bit indecisive for a while between this one and um, the, the like Starry Night Cats one but ultimately I just kept going back to this one. I think it's so so beautiful. It is a bit shiny um, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be and I think it, it feels really elegant to be honest. I really like the gold um, writing at the back as well. And I just love the design on the front, I think it's stunning. Um, I also got a clear cover on cover to go with it, which I actually don't have a cover on cover on my weeks currently because I feel like, I don't know, I got a fabrics uh, weeks last year, uh, well this year, and I didn't really feel the need to add a cover on cover on top of that. Um, so I've never tried one before, I'm gonna open it. Oh, that was loud, sorry about that. Um, it's kind of cool. I think I'm really quite going to enjoy having more space, um, like more pocket space, but I'm also a bit afraid that it's going to get really, really messy in there because I can keep a lot in there. Let's see if I can put it in. There we go. Oh, that actually feels really nice. I'll see if I if I like it and I want to keep it on or if I don't and I want to like not use it but I thought um, I might as well get it since I'm placing the order. It also comes with the adhesive that you can put at the back but obviously with the cover on cover you already get this little space to tuck something in and also the, um, the artist card which I'm gonna read later and probably stick in my current common place. Um, so this is the same as last year. Is it the same colour? 
yeah, it's the same color. I'm moving everything around. Um, I think I got the Japanese version. Um, I am currently in the Japanese version and I don't find it difficult to use. I really like it. Um, I did look at the English version, but I I think the Japanese feels more minimal. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, um, but I, I really like the Japanese version. The days, like the names of the days are written in English anyways, and the months are as well. So it's not difficult to like navigate through it. Uh, the week is also written in English, so not really a big deal. Um, I love the fact that they have two little like bookmarks. I use the black one for the current week that I'm on, and then the grey one I keep in the blank paper, uh, like pages at the back, um, which I use for like running lists. So like running to-do lists, uh, my health tracker, other kinds of like mm, things like things that I want to commonplace about, but maybe maybe I don't have time to do at the moment. And so I just write it down. Um, I have a running to film list, um, lots of little things like that. So I'll be probably doing the same thing in this book as well. Um, and this is not the mega, version of the week so, so this one only has 69 pages at the back which I think is going to be more than enough I don't use these a lot anyways uh, if I have to do any longer form writing I just do that in my commonplace book uh, which I switch out probably every month and a half or two months uh, is is the time it takes me to finish one so that works out well for me um, at the beginning you get the 2024 calendar and then in like smaller 2023 and 2025 which is really helpful um, this I've actually never used I think I've got it in my weeks as well but I haven't really used it um, I've seen some people use this kind of calendar in uh, um, the cousin or the original as um, like an index uh, but because this is not a cousin or <laughs> an original uh, I don't really know what to use it for I use these calendar spreads a lot more um, and so it's nice that they have them I really love the design of these it's nice that it starts in December as well um, and I think the weekly pages also start in December yeah 27 of November so it goes uh, you know first week of December as well uh, which is cool and I will be moving in here um, in this week just because because I started my current weeks uh, only halfway through the year anyways I'm not gonna have a complete book anyways and so I thought I might as well just move early into this one I'm also really excited about the cover anyways um, though I do suppose next year if I do finish this book and I decide to stick with the weeks for next year as well um, I'll have the the problem of not wanting to like move out of this until the end of uh, the weeks in here so I can complete the book but also I'll want to start the other one early as well so I don't know we'll see how that one goes um, the design is the same as, as last year's so they still have the secret line um, grid on this side no grid on the other which actually doesn't bother me I don't mind blank pages anyways but um, in this case I find that you can see the grid on the other side of the page quite well um, I also, I think this is the new Tomo River paper, I think this, this is the Sansen one, um, so it'll be interesting to see how my pen writes on that. Um, I just use a Muji gel pen, um, I don't think it'll be too much of a difference and I've never had issues with ghosting or anything, uh, but I am excited to try that out. Um, so really, really happy with this. I think it looks beautiful. I'm. It looks even nicer in person than it did in the photo. I think the gold really, the gold and the silver really, really shine through. Um, I'm not sure, I feel like with the cover on cover you can't see the black design as much as without it, um, but it still looks really nice. I'll see, because I carry this around with me all the time, I kind of want to have it a bit more protected, but then also I keep it within my Traveller's Company cover anyway, so it is kind of protected anyway, so we'll see how I feel about the cover on cover um, going on in the year. And then my other book for the year, which I am still very excited for, is the A6 Hon. Uh, this is new for me. I have never been in a Hobonichi A6. Um, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I have been very tempted by the cousin. Why can I not open this? I'll get scissors. I have been very tempted by the cousin. Um, however, I think that would be too much space for me to, to write in every day. And also, I, however, I think that would be too much space for me to write in every day. And also, um, 
I don't really need another weekly layout because I really like the vertical, well, the horizontal weeklies that you get in here. And I don't like the vertical weeklies of the cousin as much. Um, and so I decided to get the horn. Um, I was thinking about getting the A6 anyways for my memory keeping book. Um, currently, as my memory keeping, I'm using a Traveler's Notebook Weekly Plus Memo insert. Um, for the first half of the year, I was using this book, like the other half of the book, um, as my planner. So the same thing that I'm doing in the weeks now. Uh, and I didn't want to waste the other the other insert, and so I just started using that um, as a memory keeping book, and it's been working really well. However, um, I have been wishing I had more space to write in every day, and so I thought the A6 would be a good a good substitute for that. Um, my I, my plan wasn't really to use the weekly plus memo insert as a memory keeping book anyways but because I had it I wasn't gonna get a new book anyways um, and this is just so beautiful I, I wanted to get the original uh, but then when the A6 horn with this design came out I just couldn't resist it um, it's so so beautiful it looks really neat and it comes with its own pencil board as well they also have oh I've seen the pamphlets in other people's unboxings it looks really cute uh, obviously it's in Japanese but I'll be like translating it <laughs> to see what it says uh, and all of the characters and illustrations are so beautiful as well I'm definitely going to stick this in my book as well um, and keep it because I think it looks lovely um, I think here is a little like illustration about the different comp like parts of the layout I suppose they have something like this on their, on their website as well um, I think this is just showing that it lays flat, it's got two bookmarks and stuff. Um, and it comes with its own pencil board, which is really cool because I was actually thinking about pencil boards and I, they have some really nice pencil board designs this year. Um, however, I've never used a pencil board before and I didn't want to order one and risk not liking it, like just order one and then not use it and so it's cool that the horn comes with its own uh, pencil board I also really like the fact that it's transparent I think that can be really useful in a lot of situations uh, and as always the ruler on the side um, it's a nice blue as well it's a nice like dark blue as well um, and it's obviously the same size so you can tuck it in and it's got a pen loop which is cool um, I don't really use pen loops a lot but I think this would be useful for a lot of people um, and maybe I'll end up using it as well uh, and again it comes with the artist card as well I'll be sticking this one in my notebook too um, so nothing to be said about the cover like the cover is stunning it's so beautiful uh, the 2024 is in like a I think it's either like a really light champagne gold or silver but it doesn't feel as cool toned as silver it's, it, it's more like a white gold I suppose um, I saw some people saying that they didn't like the fact that the design ends on the back. I actually don't mind it. I think it looks a lot softer in person that it, than it did on the website. Um, it's less striking, I suppose. Uh, it doesn't look bad at all. I actually quite like it. Um, and then it says Hon. Um, so here in the first page, instead of seeing Hobo, like it does on the, in the weeks, uh, which is kind of nice. Again, you get the three calendars. This is something that the um, the weeks doesn't have, so this is what I, th I think I saw people using as an index. Um, and I think I might be using this as an index as well. Uh, we'll see. So my plan for this is to use it as a memory keeping book. So I'll just write about my day, I'll write about my thoughts. If, say, like a particular album came out on that day, I'll maybe paste a picture of it uh, um, in there. Um, I might also be doing some drawing in here. I think that would be really nice. Um, not necessarily every day, but maybe on days when I don't have as much to say. I think it will be a nice spot for me to also do a bit of daily drawing. Um, and I guess if there's anything in particular that I might want to then reference, it'll be nice to be able to tag it on here as well. So it's easier to find. And it goes from December of 2023 all the way to March of 2025. Uh, well, December of 20, yeah, December 2023 all the way to March of 2025. So that's, I think, 16 months, uh, which is kind of a lot. 
And then again, it has the monthly pages. Uh, I, I've i seen a lot of people use these for drawing, like little daily doodles, and it looks so cool. Uh, maybe I'll do that, I don't know. I don't want to put too much pressure on myself to, to keep up with too many things, but I think that would be really, really cool. Um, again, for this, I also got the Japanese version, but months and days are also written uh, in English in this one as well. So that wouldn't, that won't really be an issue. And then, this doesn't have the weekly spreads uh, like the cousin does or the A5 does or the A5 Hon. Um, so you have the turning the page to a new year. I guess this would be nice to maybe set intentions for the new year. Uh, just a couple of, uh, of blank like graph pages. And then January starts. January is actually really, really pretty orange. Oh, so this one starts on January 1st uh, in terms of actual pages. I was hoping I'd be able to move into this earlier in the year, but apparently it starts in January, so I'll do that 1st of January. Um, I think Japanese holidays are marked with like the, the larger characters um, in like a bit of a lighter colour, and I actually really like the fact that the pages are coloured. So in the weeks, every spread is just like a light grey grid, I suppose. Uh, but in here, every month is a different colour. And you have like a bit of a checkbox list at the top. You get the timetable on the side, which I'm not really going to use. Um, I think, I don't know if I'll use the separation of the secret line or if I'll just ignore it and write all the way through. Uh, we'll see about that. Um, I wanted to see all of the colours. So this is a really nice brown as well. That's a cool purple. I, the pink is maybe a bit bright, but it's it, it looks brighter in here, but it's quite soft on the pages. Um, you get the two bookmarks as well. Oh, this one is a different colour from the weeks. It's like uh, a, a really light, almost gold green. Maybe it's gold, I'm not sure. Um, that's a really lovely green. And then another green, a couple of blues. And then like a light taupey orange, another purple, a brighter green and like another like red pink. Um, I think it's kind of a lot seeing them all together because I'm not used to it but I think because you're not changing colour every day it's not going to be as overwhelming as it, as it might feel like at the beginning and then you get a few blank pages at the back which I didn't know. That's cool. I'm not sure how many they are. It might be like 15 or 20. Um, the timetables. The, oh, like for graphs, which is cool. This is really small. The The grid on, on these pages is really tiny. Favorites, which is cool. Oh, this will be nice to record like favorite films and books and stuff. I don't think I'm going to do it for music uh, because I, I'll probably record music in my 100 uh, like I'm doing in the weeks currently, but that's really cool. Not sure what this is because it's in Japanese. Um, recipes, not sure what the rest of it is, but um, I don't really use the back pages anyways. And I think the only difference with the English version in the back pages is that um, this one doesn't have like the, um, the circles tracker. Um, I think the English one has like a, a 365 days tracker um, from what I've seen online, but uh, this one doesn't. And then you get the two bookmarks, which I guess you could keep one in the monthly and one on the day you're currently on. Um, and again, for this as well, I got a cover and cover, so I'll put that on as well, if I can figure out where to open it. Um, they do a specific cover on cover for the Hon, um, so I think the, the regular, oh that's the wrong way around, the um, regular A6 one doesn't fit here. There we go. And there it is. I also just wanted to check if it lays flat. Yeah, it lays flat really, really easily, um, and I think the weeks does as well. There we go. Uh, the paper in the weeks is so much more yellow, I didn't realise that. Um, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm so used to this, that seeing the, like, the stark white is almost, it's kind of a lot. Uh, but I'm really, really excited to move into this, and I think it just goes until the end of December. 
Um, I don't think there's any overlap with these books like there is with the weeks. Yeah, there it is. So that is my very small haul for um, 2024 for Hobonichi and a couple of Travelers Notebook bits. Um, it's not as much as I've seen some other people get. Um, the only thing that I'm still thinking about, uh, I don't think I've mentioned this yet in any of my videos, but the one thing that I am thinking about um, is the Almond Have a Nice Day cover because it's just so beautiful. Um, but the A6 Have a Nice Day cover doesn't fit the horn. Uh, and I also just don't need a cover for the horn, like it's quite sturdy and protected anyways, and I'm not going to be bringing this around with me every day anyways. So I don't really need a cover for it. Um, but I just think the Almond A5 Have a Nice Day cover is so beautiful. And I might just get that with like a, a regular Hobonichi A5 notebook and find some use for it um, if I have some spare money towards the end of the year because it's so, so beautiful. But I don't want to get it now because I realistically... This is all I need for the year um, and I, I didn't want to like overbuy and then not be able to use something or like have something go to waste so I'm really happy with what I got. I think they look really cool together as well. Um, I was I was very tempted by the botanical weeks as well but I think this one just called out to me uh, and I'm very glad I, I went for it in the end because I'm so happy with it. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing the video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and with that being said, I hope you have a nice day. Um, I, I would also love to know what you've ordered from Modinchi if you have, or what you're planning on ordering if you haven't ordered yet. Um, so that will be interesting to talk about. Uh, I've been asking that in my videos recently and it's always cool to see what people are using. So I hope you're having a good day. I hope you have a good week uh, and I'll see you soon with a new video. Bye.